More than two billion wine corks are produced by a company right here in the Triangle. Noma Cork in Zebulon is a world leader in technological innovation when it comes to wine corks. And tonight's What's Next? WNTN's Mike Gonzalez took a visit to their plant to see some new technology causing a buzz in the wine industry. It didn't take me long to realize that making corks at Noma Cork in Zebulon is serious business. Now it is going to get a little noisy. Manufacturing manager Chris Reinhardt oversees this 200,000 square foot factory that produces more than 2 billion wine corks every single year. He's the founder of the company. Noma Cork was founded by Gert Noel, a man determined to make a better cork that enhanced the wine's flavor by controlling oxygen flow. It's where the corks are made. Most importantly, Noel wanted it to have a minimal impact on the environment. Their latest breakthrough, the Select Bio, a zero carbon footprint, fully recyclable cork. In the case of Select Bio, instead of starting from fossil fuels, we in fact start from sugarcane. It's like making cookies, it's where the recipe is, is put into the computer, the products mixed together. After it's mixed together, the materials go through this dual extrusion machine where the foam is heated into a liquid. Given a cylindrical shape, then a flexible outer skin is bonded to the inner cylinder. It's then cooled in water, cut into proper lengths, then shipped out to thousands of customers across the globe. So this is actual product right here. So you see the foam center and the skin outside. As for Select Bio's exact formula, Malcolm Thompson says he's not ready to give that away. There's a lot of proprietary art, some of which is patent protected per se, some of it is regarded as in-house know-how. So we try to stay clear of that. For what's next, I'm Mike Gonzalez, WNCN News. Very interesting. Well, Noma Cork says they hope to eventually have zero carbon footprint with all their products.